They were about nine weeks early. I developed a severe form of preeclampsia called HELP syndrome. And so to save my life, they had to deliver the twins via C-section a little early. Now we've gotten over a bunch of milestones, but the last thing they're having some trouble with is eating. Babies that are less than 34 weeks gestation, they don't ha know how to suck from a bottle yet, so sucking on a pacifier helps them with their comfort, helps them be less stressed, and then what we've seen is the babies that use the pacifier-assisted lullabies, they're ready to eat sooner, they go home from the hospital sooner, they tolerate their feedings better. When they came to us and said, can we use, you know, this device on your children, it rewards with music, you know. I didn't even think about what it did. I just said, oh, music, sure, yeah, that's wonderful. And then when they came in and explained it to me, I said, oh, wow, that's, that's really, you know, unique. They love the music um, part. It's soothing to them. When they suck, the music comes on. When they stop sucking, the music goes off. So they quickly make that connection between the soothing music and the sucking. When babies are in the NICU for care, they sometimes stay three months before they can go home from the hospital. That's an awfully long time for parents to be separated from their child. So the PAL offers them a way for parents to get involved immediately, especially in a critical behavior like learning to feed, because that's key to going home from the hospital at least to discharge almost immediately. I'm thankful for it that it has helped strengthen those muscles and teach them how to eat. <laughs>